In this video, I'm gonna show you how to fully operate a backhoe on the John Deere 1025R from it being all the way folded up to being out like you see it now and how to run it. What's up guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. Now our first step to this is going to be releasing two of the safety features on this backhoe before we ever even turn the tractor on. The first one is gonna be a pin that is right here in front of your joysticks. We're simply gonna pull that out and then right next to it, just right to the right of it, you are going to have a little slot to drop that pin down in. And then our next step is going to be to release this lock here, which is what's going to allow our backhoe to be able to move out and back up. This is going to be simply raise this back that unlocks this lock here on the frame of our boom. And then now we can go ahead and turn on the tractor and start to lower down our feet. Now to lower the stabilizers or the feet as we can call it, we do have to turn the tractor on to activate the hydraulics as they are hydraulically ran. So what we need to do is make sure that our tractor is in neutral and that the parking brake is on. And then we can go ahead and start the tractor. Just like so. And then our first step here is going to be pushing back on our feet just enough to be able to raise this locking lever out of the way. We need to make sure that this is out of the way before we start to lower. So to lower this, you have two small levers here on your control station, and we're gonna go forward with them to lower each stabilizer down. So you can raise up on your lock push forward on your lever and this will lower your feet and we can move here to the other side we're going to do the same thing raise up our lock pull forward on our lever and this is going to lower our other stabilizer just like so now once we have this done our step is out so we can go ahead and mount onto the back of the tractor here and then once we're on the machine, you will be able to see that you do have instructions on each one of our joysticks here telling you what each joystick does. So right here we can see on our left joystick, this is going to be our swing joystick. So to swing, we can go to the left or to the right. And you can see we'll go all the way to one side, all the way to the other side. And then our right, our right joystick from side to side is going to be our bucket curl. So right here, we'll go ahead and let that bucket out or we can raise this in. Now, keep in mind here, everything's moving pretty slow. I have this in the lowest throttle position on the tractor, but if you're looking for a little bit more response and a little more power, you can always go and bump the throttle on that tractor whenever you are doing your actual digging. Now, to be able to let our dipper stick out, which is going to be the front part of the backhoe, it's gonna be on our right lever. That's gonna raise that up or out. And then if we want to lower our boom, that is going to be on our left-hand lever here, just like so. Same thing going in reverse. If we want to raise that boom, we're gonna be over here on our left-hand joystick, raising that up. If we want to curl that dipper stick, then we're going to pull in here. Once again, we have that swing. And all of this just takes a little bit of practice. It's fairly simple. The main things that we have to make sure that we do whenever we're operating one of these backhoes is making sure that we have the safeties released before we try to open anything up. And then also make sure that our stabilizers and our tractor itself are in a very good and steady spot before we go to try to actually use this machine. But that is how you do it, guys. Very, very simple, very easy to do. Get everything back in line here to where we are all ready to lock this thing up. And just like that, you're good to go. So guys, I hope you liked this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, we just ask you to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you need any John Deere parts at all, we just ask that you would check out 247parts.com. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Hey, guys, make sure to check out this cool video. 
and this one. Buy your parts right up here and subscribe right here.